My name is uh, Simon Hay. I'm the Chief Marketing Officer at John Cockrell Defence in Belgium. We have two new products that we're showcasing today at DSEI. The first one, which is just behind me, is our new 1030 turret. It's an unmanned turret, which is based on our very successful 3030 design, of which over 600 have been built and delivered to our customers, and uses the digital architecture that we developed for our CPWS 25mm turret a few years ago. Now, the turret is quite unique in that it has various options that we can offer to the customer in terms of configuration. It can be a one-man turret, a two-man turret, or a robotically operated turret for the new robotic platform such as the Milrem Type-X behind me here. It's a lightweight solution of about 1.5 tons, has a 1.5 meter bearing ring, minimal intrusion into the vehicle, and designed to be carried on lightweight 6x6 or 8x8 type vehicles. Up to level 4 armor is available, and with the open architecture, we can add on a number of different options such as APS, smoke grenade launchers, laser warning systems, and even ATGMs. We think this is going to be a very successful product in the future. The second product we have, not present on our stand, but at the Patria stand in Hall 7, is our CLWS. This is the Cockerel Lightweight Weapon Station. And it's a fairly unique design that can be fitted with a 25mm Bushmaster or the M. 811 cannon from Nexter or the light 30 cannon M230 type but with the capability to reload the main gun under armor so you can still safely load the gun from within the vehicle under protection and that's a unique in terms of a remote weapon station it's again multi-configurable we can add ATGMs we can have gr grenade launchers we can have rocket launchers even the 12.7 we fit it with a coax it can be fitted with either a slaved optical system or a panoramic optical system and it's designed, again, with an open architecture to allow us to add different options according to the customer need, APS, ATGM, 360 observation, etc. Commercially, we see the 1030 as the ideal solution for the medium caliber with the Mark 44 stretch cannon. One thing I didn't mention earlier, we're able to go to 70 degrees elevation, which gives it capability in the counter UAS field with the new types of ammunition that are coming from the American company NGIS a burst and future prox fusing, we'll be able to also add that feature in terms of capability to the turret, thanks to the high elevation that we can offer. The CLWS, uh, there we see a gap in the market. The 25mm cannon gives you an, an amazing amount of firepower on a platform that will weigh less than 600 kilos. So you have the capability to engage targets out to two kilometers, plus the armor piercing capability, which is not offered by the lightweight 30 solutions today. Lightweight 30 has a combat range of about 1,000 meters and a dispersion twice that of the 25 millimeter.